Hey, it's Brittany from The Imperium. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Welcome back. What What is it we say? Anyways, today we're going to do some time-lapse edge painting on uh, purse pals and pocket pals. I have some retro stitch vinyl, some more me no vinyl. Uh, these two are hex reject prints that I sublimated. This is a hex reject vinyl from Stitch Won't Kill My Vibe. Uh, fabric from Backstitch Fabrics, and then more me know. Ugh, they came out really well. I did a couple base coats. I sanded some. We did a couple coats of color, and then this is the first time I have used the gloss coat. But anyways, we're going to talk about it while we watch the time lapse. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Okay, so here's the first coat. Um, it is the base coat, and this is one of the steps that takes me the longest. You want to make sure that the base coat is getting into, like, the cracks in between your layers of vinyl. Um, you'll see me fold the tab down um, here and there, and I'm just trying to get the um, other pieces of vinyl the only thing that stinks about doing this voiceover with the time lapse is you can't see the specific details. So if everyone wants, I'm more than happy to do a full video um, of just edge coating one. But anyways, so this whole step is just putting that first coat of base on. And this is where it was a game changer for me. Once I started using base coat, it just came out so much better. Um, this is putting the second coat on. We're starting to build up our base and smoothing it out. Um, I use the Giardini base coat and I really do like it. Um, I have heard that it has a shelf life and I've had mine longer than what I've read. So I might need to get more soon. Um, but it does seem like I use a lot of the base coat because it really soaks in. So for this step, I am sanding down any bumps or rough spots so that we can really build for that smooth base to put our color on. Um, I have found if I just let the um, paint dry on my roller, I can kind of peel it off and it's been easier to clean it off that way. Um, I think doing three coats of base for these was probably perfect. And if you can see, I have the little clips on the table. And I was setting the purse pals on them to try to keep the painted edges off the table as much as I could. Alright, and then ready for color. Um, I think I noticed I didn't sand every one before I did the color. Um... You don't have to sand, but if you're finding spots that are very bumpy, I would suggest it. Because once you do the color, it's going to show more. Um, and I was just taking my roller between colors and getting as much paint as I possibly could off of it. Um, I think I had a problem like one time that the color kind of got on the next one, but I was able to cover it up. Uh, the colored paints I'm using are the Angelus paints. You can get them on Amazon, and I'll have links for everything in the description. Um, some of the links are affiliate links, and I do appreciate anyone who uses those. It it definitely, I don't get much of a kickback, but it helps, so thank you. The, the black that I'm using is the Giardini, um, and it was really thin. I don't know if maybe I've just had it for a while, but compared to the Angelus, it was very thin. Um, not bad, but I just wasn't used to it. I think also my Angelus paints might be getting a little old. Um, so it looks like we're on the second coat now of color. Yes, yes we are. Um, the first coat of color takes me pretty long because you really want to make sure you're getting full coverage on there. Um, you can sand between color um, coats also, but I did not. Um, and then after this coat of color, I used the Giardini Glossy Top Coat. 
It was the first time I had used it. I've had it for a while and I wish I would have started using it sooner. It really gave a nice finish. And then on one of them, this one, that is an iridescent top coat. Um, you have to put it over black, which is why I actually got the Giardini black. But um, so this is almost done. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope maybe I taught something. But like I said, I'll totally do a full um, edge coat video as soon as I can. I enjoyed making these and I cannot wait to make the next batch. Thanks. Bye.